Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? I'm back with another video today, and today we got three things to talk about. We got the end of Team of the Week for the rest of the year. We got the new Team of the Week reveal, and we got the Team Standout reveal. Now, Team Standout reveal is a limited reveal, so it's not all the good players, which is going to be probably about 32. It's going to be three. But put that aside with Team of the Week, put that aside with Team Standouts and Team of the Week news, and make sure make sure some good news. And before we get to the video again, shout out to the Poodle Squad. Um, you know the deal. Comment down below, Poodle Squad. Like the video, turn on the noti bell to be have a chance to be shouted out. And then for today's shout out, we have Michael Cavanaugh. Thank you so much for showing support. And if you guys need coins, head down to Mutt Reserve down below. Use code Poodle for 15% off. Take advantage of the holiday sales, especially with the new Team of the Week this week. Finally hitting 94 overall. And then we got the Christmas promo, and we got Team Standouts coming this week, so make sure you're stocked on coins. But moving on from that, guys, so as you see here, today will be the last week for Team of the Week until the holiday program ends. So just like last year, I'm pretty sure they did this. So the way it's going to work is this Team of the Week 13 will be the final Team of the Week for the rest of 2020. And then June, January 12th, they will release a mass bundle release of Weeks 14, 15, 16, and 17. So we're going to get four heroes, uh, four, like four LTDs, four defensive heroes, four offensive heroes, and the, the whole deal. That's kind of how they're going to do this. So this is going to be right, and then they're going to drop Team of the Year. So we're going to have a massive Team of the Week slash Team of the Week uh, drop that week of the Jan January 12th. So pretty much expect like that, but pretty much it. Team of the Week's over because by the time we get that, we're ready to have Team of the Year coming. So it's kind of over. So this is really effectively the last week of Team of the Week. But moving on from that, guys, we do have the first uh, player upgrade. So that's Darren Waller, 82. So he will get a plus one on his power. So Darren Waller just increasingly keeps becoming the best tight end of Madden and keeps getting his upgrades. Uh, Darren Waller's and well, I would check him out, see see what the upgrades were, but he's gonna, he's gonna get dangerously close to 90 speed at this point. He's looking really good. Joe Schobert, 82, nothing too special there. Uh, he's not gonna get a, you know his, his upgrades not gonna be that important to anyone. Kyle Van Noy again, his upgrades gonna be decent, nothing too special as well. 81 speed, 90 player, 80 block shot, but in general the card itself isn't that great. David Montgomery he had a big week, but again his upgrades not gonna matter too much. His running back card's too slow in Madden, regardless. Cleveland Farrell, he's actually a really fast end on a budget squad. So if you guys have a budget team and you're looking for someone, Cleveland Farrell's not horrible. 90 overall, it's a pretty high overall for a Cleveland Farrell card. Now, it's not, it's not a power-up increase for him. That is his card. Like, that's his top card at 90 overall. So that's the one you're looking at right there. So 87 speed, 92 excel is really athletic. 81 finesse move, 82 uh, block shed, and 90 player rack, 92 tackle. Decent to great um, end in a budget squad there. I can't really determine that just yet. You can see how he plays, of course, abilities and so on. Next, we have Corey Davis. Now, Corey Davis had a huge week, probably one of the best weeks of his career. 91 speed, and this is going to be his card, right? It's not going to be like a power upgrade. 91 spec. His route running is low. His catch, his catching is actually pretty good, and then his speed is decent. I mean, he's not going to be like some meta card. He's not going to even be a budget team card, probably, but he could be a Titans name team card. Moving on, guys, this is the hero for this week, Baker Mayfield. Now, this quarterback card looks honestly really good. Just like, look at it. 84 speed, 94 throw power. 92 throw short, 89 medium, 90 deep accuracy, 89 throw to pressure, 93 throw on the run, and 91 play action. So he's going to get to 99 um, throw power. So I'd recommend putting play fake on him. That will get his, his medium up above. So he'll have perfect accuracy. His throw power will be a 99. And if he ends up getting a power fist, he will be an 85. So he's going to be an all well-rounded great man. This is exactly what Madden quarterbacks are right now. They have super high throw power, super good accuracy, and they're mobile. They're not, they're not scramblers. They're mobile. Which means Baker can take off for a five yard first down, a two yard first down, a ten yard first down, even fifteen yards, depending on how backed up the defense is on a four verts or something. So that, that that's what's important. He's not gonna be just taking off every play and make, create an offense for you, but he can even do a read option here or there, depending on how much the other def the defense is sleeping. Baker looks good. He looks good honestly, it all depends on his abilities, of course. Being an improviser, he may even be able to get like escape artists and so on and so forth. But let's move on, let's check out the other heroes. So next, we do have Glover Quinn. Now, this is the flashback defensive hero. It's a hybrid safety, 91 speed, 94 acceleration, 83 tackle, 92 play rec, 91 pursuit, 87 man, 93 zone, 83 hit power. Now, the good thing about Glover Quinn is if he is powered up, he has to 94 zone, which means chemmed up and powered up with a go deep, he will get a 99 zone coverage. So he gets a 99 zone coverage threshold. He'll have above 90 man coverage threshold. He'll have a 98 play rec. And we'll have a 92 speed. So overall, this car is going to be a very, very good free safety. But a really discounted price. He has 93 overall, so he'll be a little bit more expensive than usual. 
But being that he has the flashback, can move because they're usually cheap. And 95 Excel. This card's good. This card's really, really good all around. You really can't discount this card at all. He could definitely play in a lot of schemes. Because as soon as you get an end zone, you're good. But a lot of people with an end zone don't get the hit power and the speed and the excel. And he gets all those things. Now, there is another corner that came out not too long. I mean, safety that came out not too long ago that does have all those things. But up until that, there weren't many like this. Now, we've got Donovan McNabb, another quarterback this week now. He's pretty much, if you take some throw power away from Baker and put it on speed, this is what you get. Think of it like a 2K archetype builder, like take some throw power off and put it onto the speed. They're very similar. And some accuracy. So he's got 87 speed, 91 throw power, 90 short, 91 medium, 88 deep, 91 throw under pressure, 92 throw on the run, 88 play action. So everything's good. Again, if you put, the issue with him is you got to put go deep this time. So go deep will get his throw power and powered up, of course, too. Go deep will get his throw power to a 97, which is still amazing. Too short of where Baker's going to probably fall at that 99 throw power. But he's going to be 88 speed, which is 4 plus speed on Baker Mayfield. So he's not going to be just your, you know, may get a first down on a scramble when the play breaks down. He's the kind of guy that you actually could take off routinely with. Not like a Vic, of course, but he's not too far from it. So he's going to be a much more athletic version of Baker Mayfield. Take away some accuracy. But again, we've talked about it. Everything above 90 seems to play similar unless it's 99. So maybe you won't even notice it. But the card overall, Donovan McNabb is a really good quarterback card. Next, we got Devontae Parker. He's the LTD for the week. Now, this card looks insane. You power him up, but first, let's start with stats. 93 speed, 95 jump, 91 catching, 93 catching traffic, 94 spec, 91 short, 90 medium, and 90 deep route running. So, he has every threshold. So that's, you don't have to worry about anything, but powered up, he has a 94 speed. So, that ties him with, like, the guys like McLaurin and stuff, but he's one less than Tyreek, but it seems pretty obvious he's better than Tyreek Hill. If you put go deep on him, I believe you will get a 99 spec catch. So, he's going to have a 94 speed, 96 jumping, 92 catching, 94 catching traffic, 96, I mean 95 spec, or sorry, 99 spec, and you have like 95, 96 deep route running. Now again, I don't really care about the route running anymore, it's all above 90. What's going to matter is that he is going to be able to get one of these, either catching traffic or spec to 99, whether you go play fake or you go um, go deep. So he's going to be able to be an insane catcher, have 94 speed, he's probably the best wide receiver in the game, and I'm pretty sure he has decent height, like a 6 foot 1, 6 foot 2 type build, so... This Devontae Parker is really good. Actually, some of the team standouts, they did tease uh, three of them. So they are 92 overalls, kind of what we expected. I was hoping they would be 93s, but that's what we're dealing with. So we have safety for Eric Rowe for the Dolphins, 91 speed, 92 excel, 89 tackle, 91 play rec, 85 pursuit, 85 man, 86 zone, 81 hit power. So with lockdown and powered up, he will get all these zone and man thresholds. He will have above 90 tackle, 92 speed. It's going to be decent budget safety, um, better served on a Dolphins team team. Brian Poole, cornerback for the Jets. Um, he's going to be powered up, of course, as well. So, again, he will have above 90 man, will have above 90 zone, above 90 press as a cornerback, which is actually really good. And 92 speed, he's going to be a decent corner. Not special, but decent. And then we have Carlton Davis for the Buccaneers. He's going to get, again, above 90 man, above 90 zone, above 90 press by a decent amount. Uh, he will have a 92 speed. They all, all, all three of these cards are identical. They're all going to get 92 speed. They're all going to have above 90 thresholds for their zone man. Nothing too great. These cards are all great, but none of them are special. That's about it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys need coins or team standouts, team of the week, Christmas promo, and everything else, head over to my reserve down below. Use code Poodle for fifteen percent off. Take advantage. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Comment down below. Turn the noti bell, and of course subscribe. I'm out.